Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on this Kim Kardashian inspired makeup look. And I decided I was going to not wear contacts for this video as well just because one, Kim's eyes are brown so I feel like it would make more sense if I wore my natural eyes. A lot of you guys have commented before that you guys wanted a video without me wearing any contacts so I decided for this video I would do as you guys asked. This is the picture that I used as inspiration for this look but I will also be listing down the direct link so you guys can obviously take a better look. Also in this video I'm finally going to be reviewing the KKW Powder Contour Kit. So if you guys want to know how I got this Kim Kardashian inspired makeup look then please keep on watching. So my face is already moisturized and primed. I'm just gonna jump right into foundation. For foundation today, I'm gonna be using the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation and this is in the shade Barcelona. First, I'm just gonna move my hair back because I don't wanna get any foundation on this wig. So I'm just applying this with a stippling brush. I haven't used this foundation in such a long time but I still, still love it. Now I'm just going to go over that with my beauty blender. You guys already know that I cannot go on without this step. So now that my foundation is blended, it's time to move on to contour. We already know Kim Kardashian is like the queen of contouring and her contour game is just on a whole nother level. To contour my face today, I'm going to be using the KK Beauty Contour Kit and this is in the shade Dark. So I'm just going to apply this everywhere where I want my face to be defined. For my nose, I always like to use a flat brush to create the lines instead of just using the contour stick just because I want these lines to be very, very straight and defined. So now I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. And I do love the way that her contour kit blends out. It literally just like melts away. To blend out my nose contour, I'm just using a smaller blending brush. So now that we are done with contouring, it's of course time to highlight our face. And for that, I'm going to be using Tarte's Shape Tape and Light Medium Honey. And I'm just going to go in with my Beauty Blender to blend that out. So now that everything is blended out, it's time to set this face so this does not move. To set my face today, I'm going to be using IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Powder. And this is in the shade Translucent. Now that my face is set, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Brows are filled in. So now it's time to move on to eyeshadow. For eyeshadow today, I'm actually going to be using the KKW Beauty Powder Contour Kit just because I got the contour kit when it first launched and I just didn't get around to making a video to do a review for you guys. So since this is a Kim Kardashian makeup tutorial, what better way to just use the contour kit to recreate her look, which I'm sure she probably used her own products to create that makeup look anyway so it comes in the same kind of bag that the cream contour kit comes in so it's the same deal so this is how it comes once you open the bag it, i did notice that the brush looks a lot better than the other brush that she had for her cream contour one so we'll see how this one works so this is the contour kit and just look at these shades. I am living for these colors. I cannot wait to try them. So in the picture, Kim has a very, very natural eyeshadow. It kind of just looks like she just swept a little bit of brown on her crease and on her outer V. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be trying to recreate. First, I'm gonna be going into the contour number two shade, which is this warmer tone right here. And I'm just taking that on a large blending brush. So I'm just gonna take that on my crease and blend it out towards the outer V. Wow, this is actually blending pretty nicely. She does have a little bit of a darker outer V going on. So I'm just going to go in with that darker contour shade in the contour kit just to darken up the outer V. And you don't want to bring this darker color too into the inner corner. You want to keep that mostly focused on the outer V. 
for her inner corner and her brow bone she does have a very light highlight so I can't use any of the two highlighters that are provided in the contour kit so I'm just gonna be going in with a different highlighter for this part I'm gonna be using Fenty Beauty's Hustla Baby and I'm taking that on a pencil brush To darken up my lower lash line, I'm going to be going into this shade right here. And I'm just packing that on because on her lower lash line, she has like a very dark brown shadow going on. So as you can see, I did go in and line my waterline and I just used my Wonder Beauty Black Sand Eye Pencil. I just didn't want to film that because it looks hella weird when you're just like digging your eye with an eyeliner so in the picture Kim does have a very kind of small wing liner going on so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to recreate that for eyeliner I'm gonna be using Tarte's clay paint eyeliner and I'm just gonna be using a angled brush to apply this I'm gonna start very very thin on the inner corner and I'm just gonna wing it out just a bit on the outer V So now that we're done with eyeliner, it's time to go in with mascara. Today I'm just going to be using Benefits Roller Lash. And I'm going to be applying this to both the top and bottom lashes. In the picture, Kim has very, very natural looking lashes. She looks like she's not even wearing any false eyelashes. But for me, I always need just a little bit of volume in my lashes going on. So for that, I'm going to just be applying one of my all-time favorite eyelashes. And they are the Lily Lashes Opulence. I just applied some duo glue to the lashes and I'm just waiting for it to dry a little bit. So that is all for the eyes. Now it's time to contour and highlight this face. To contour my face, I'm gonna be going back into the powder contour kit and I'm just gonna be going into this shade right here. And I'm just using the angled side of the brush. This powder contour kit is so pigmented. So I only tapped my brush in the product once and I'm getting so, so much product. She does have a super pinky peachy blush going on. So I'm actually gonna be going in with two blushes today. First, I'm gonna be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio. I'm first gonna be going in with the shade Nectarine. And I'm taking that on that same brush that comes with Kim's contour kit. Now I'm gonna go back into Kim's contour kit and I'm gonna be going into this highlight shade right here. And I'm just taking a tiny bit of that on that same brush and I'm just gonna brush that over that blush. To highlight my face, I'm gonna be using this shade right here. She doesn't have too, too much highlight going on so I'm not gonna OD on this highlight like I would on my normal days. This is actually a super, super pretty highlight. I really, really love the way that she created this contour kit. I feel like it's so, so much better than her cream contour kit. And I'm obsessed with the brushes. Like, they actually do work. So now, it's time to move on to lips. Kim does have a very nude kind of lip. It's not matte and it's not a gloss. It's a satin lipstick. First, I'm just going to be lining my lips. For that, I'm going to use MAC Spice Lip Liner. For lipstick, I'm going to be using MAC's The Right Note. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. Also, please thumbs up this video if you guys do want more celebrity inspired makeup looks. And comment below and let me know what look you guys would like to see next from me. And I'll see you guys on my next video.